In the world of animal-human interaction, we've been hearing a lot in the last three weeks or so about orcas or killer whales that have been sinking yachts off the coast of Spain, Portugal and Morocco. In just the past few days, there have been over 20 attacks resulting in damaged vehicles and the killer whales scattering as soon as rescue boats arrive. These animals have been turning up in huge numbers and it is believed that they're teaching these attack tactics to others of their species and they're ganging up to inflict physical damage on these yachts. Since the pandemic, in fact, the total number of killer whale attacks in this region on fast-moving sailboats, fishing boats and yachts is now over 130 as recorded by over 500 reports of these incidents. Experts are not yet fully clear on why exactly these animals are behaving this way. There are three to four common theories that are very interesting and also quite insightful. These animals, which are dolphins by the way, not whales despite their name, are the geniuses of the sea. They are extremely intelligent, they have highly developed social and communication systems and they seem to love humans. Whatever their intent might be, there is no record ever of a killer whale in the wild having fatally harmed a human, although there have been threatening attacks and even revenge attacks. On the other hand, there are ample reports of them having a truly good time with humans during one-on-one -on -one interactions. They love playing with humans, they are very curious, and at the end of the day, these amazing animals are basically the golden retrievers of the ocean when they're around humans. New scientific discoveries about their brains and brain structure are extremely interesting and their social structures are so incredibly complex that we might be highly underestimating their intelligence. Killer whales are the largest of the dolphins and they are found across all the seas in the world. They prefer to be near coastal environments and there are about four or so subtypes or even subspecies of killer whales, although they are all the same species of orca. Worldwide, we think there are at least 50,000 individuals and maybe hopefully more. Killer whales are apex predator, which means that they have no natural predators and they often even feed on other mammals in the ocean. They typically feed on fish, sometimes even birds, including large birds like penguins. They hunt in groups that are called pods and they have highly sophisticated and coordinated hunting tactics. Sometimes they use this skill and their intelligence to take down animals that are much larger than themselves, including both baby whales and adult whales. In 2019, killer whales killed blue whales on three different occasions. In fact, we even had a video about that. These highly intelligent animals have social behaviors that have various levels of emotionally complex aspects to them. They are very playful. Older adults teach youngsters techniques, learn by observing other animals and other orcas, and these animals also interact with members of other species. They have complex social bonds with each other as well. In fact, they live in a system that is as complex as those exhibited by elephants or apes. Killer whales are used very frequently in sea shows around the world, especially in the US, for entertainment. Trainers who work with them report that they hardly ever have to take any effort to train these animals. They learn new tricks very, very quickly and they can pick up stuff fast by observing other animals doing these behaviors. They have a complex language as well and killer whales from geographically separated pods actually have dialects or accents. Many of these killer whales or orcas that grow up in captivity or especially isolation end up having personality disorders including exhibiting self-destructive behaviors or attacking trainers. This is once again similar to dogs where dogs start to display such behaviors when they are extremely bored or highly anxious or have too much pent up energy that doesn't get released regularly. 
For many of us millennials out there, Free Willy is likely to be a childhood favorite movie. The movie showed a bit about how smart these killer whales actually are, and the existence of these movies shows how trainable these animals are. So these friendly animals do not attack humans and in fact seem to like the company of humans and playing with us. So why are they now attacking boats? There seem to be many theories that are being proposed by experts with three or four big ones. One is the case of the Gladys injury that takes us back to 2020. There are three killer whales in this region that are involved in these yacht attacks. These are named White Gladys, Black Gladys and Grey Gladys. White Gladys is the oldest female and a theory is that she was once attacked or injured by a fast moving boat or she was just traumatized by a bunch of boats. So she retaliated and started sinking fast moving boats and then taught this behavior to others. These three Gladyses were most commonly involved in attacks in 2020 and now 3 years later it looks like half the orca population in this region is attacking fast moving boats. These are mainly yachts that are getting physically damaged especially on the rudder. Some of these boats and ships are disabled because the animals damage these rudders and prevent them from moving just like stopping a tail fin prevents fish and these mammals from swimming. Some of these yachts are in fact sunk around Spain, Portugal and Morocco by these animals. Another theory is that the orcas are doing it for revenge. We have known stories from during whaling times 50 to 100 years ago about killer whales chasing and attacking humans who have killed other members of their group or pod. It is possible that maybe a mother orca or killer whale was killed and the others from the pod especially the kids are now retaliating in revenge. It is also possible that these animals live in such a stressful environment that maybe after the relative month or so of calm in April of 2020 they started reacting negatively to ocean and maritime traffic from May of 2020. The other popular and seemingly the most likely practical theory is that these killer whales are just playing. They are always curious, they have always been curious and they love to interact with humans. Whenever killer whales are around humans, they always make it a point to approach humans. There are tons and tons of user videos on YouTube where killer whales are playfully chasing a boat and leaping and bounding behind it or are just swimming beside people who are paddling. So this behavior is most likely just an extension of the play and they aren't really doing anything to the humans involved at all. In fact, these killer whales despite harming the boats are still playful with the humans. Killer whales have what behavioral ecologists call animal culture, which is the ability of animals to learn behaviors and vocalizations. from social and cultural learning that is by communicating vocally from adult to younglings or by observation and imitation and by transmitting local behaviors down generations which are not found in other members of the same species elsewhere geographically so killer whales learning playful behaviors like this tend to spread them across and if they continue doing that across other groups this would become risky to them these animals have now learned that it is the rudder that makes these yachts and sailboats move so they go for it directly playfully damaging it this increases their safety risk in oceans and is particularly bad for a region like the strait of gibraltar which sees such high traffic at all times The authorities now have limited maritime traffic here in response but this event unfolding here is one of these large scale interactions between our species and another and over time we are learning a lot in the process about the intelligence of these animals and also how to cohabit with them peacefully in the future